What's up guys, Dreamcast Guy here. I've never seen anyone do a uh, Let's Play for Fantasy Star Online version 3 Card Revolution, and I had a copy coming at work, so let's figure this shit out. This is a really dramatic opening, reminds me of uh, the old dot hat games, like the crappy ones that were weird on PS2. I had lots of uh, talking and weirdness and... Alright, let's press start and skip this. Alright. Uh, offline game, because I'm pretty sure the online servers are down. Uh, sure, let's see what the story's like. Entering world stream. Um, this guy. Yes, let's create a character. I wonder if you still get to do character types. Two to twenty-one years later? Yeah, just make up your own storyline, it's fine. Oh, it's all anime-ish. Maybe, I can't even tell, the animation's kinda weird. Is it? Yeah, that's anime. It's not even CG, it's just like, hey, we have cartoonists, let's do this shit. Oh, it looks like it says VCR in the corner. Oh, well. So why did it just show us the city and then the title sequence? Okay. Is this like a recap of Fantasy Star Online's versions 1 and 2? Earth sucked, and we decided to leave Earth and go to this other planet named uh, Ragnall, but Ragnall apparently sucked too. Oh, I see. I just summed it up for you, but let's sum it up again. Humans began to settle among the stars. Around the time the media from Ragnall's star system dived down to planet Coral, the population was expanding too rapidly beyond the point which Coral herself could no longer bear. To search for a new home and to seek the source of mysterious energy found in the meteor, dubbed Photon, a Pioneer-class spaceship was built as humanity planned for a great migration. The Pioneer embarked on a journey, dot dot dot, dot dot dot. Time quickly flows by, newborns grow into children, children grow into adults, likewise truth becomes rumor, and rumor fades into faint memories. AUW-3105. Nearly 21 years have passed since the strange and enormous explosion the service of Ragnar rocked Pioneer 2. And so, she remains in space with the primary goal of human migration unfulfilled. The people of all Pioneer 2 long to touch Ragnar's precious soil, yet they have grown accustomed to life among the stars. However, unbeknownst to the people, the plans for Ragnar's urbanization is encountering fierce resistance due to secretive ways of the principal government. The first principal, Terra, has been dismissed in Pioneer 2. Yip remains drifting in orbit around Ragnar. The people cling to the hopes of a better tomorrow. And he shows a dragon in the background. Is that what a better tomorrow is? Dragons? I have to agree with you, Fantasy Star. So there's still. Uh, you will chat and move to the lobby using this character. <laughs> the lobby and morgue. Uh, fuck it. Let's be what I always am. I don't know what these bottoms are. Oh, yeah, that's right, the pimp class. I remember that. You ladies want the fist? You get the slap of my elf ears. Yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, on this dude. Let's see if I can't make myself look like Cloud. Uh, I'm sure, I look a little bit like Cloud hair. One of these used to look just like him, or sort of. Well, emo hair. There we go. Now let's just. Uh, oh, it's gay blue. Where's a? Uh... There we go. It's... Oh, wait, oh, no, let's try some little red. But no, no, that's not it either. Maybe we do all three. Well, that makes white. Well, I'm not very good at colors. Let's see. That's pretty, pretty yellow. It's pretty yellow. It's kind of a greenish yellow if you look too close at it. But, alright, Cloud wore uh, purple during the military days. Skin color, white as fuck. Proportion, tall as fuck. Oh. Oh, fucks. If 
he doesn't let me put all of Dreamcast, I'm gonna be pissed. Ah, good, good. I am part of the Redra Sector! Um... Ooh, the dark side. Let's start with the light side. I imagine it's probably easier. Ooh, there's some fancy loading screens compared to Fantasy Star Online version 1 and 2. Yes, longer as well. Oh. Oh, so you're Dreamcast. You look kinda down, you sure you're alright? I'm Pentaglass, the most distinguished chief around these parts. At least you're modest too. You may want to tuck your gut in there, buddy. My orders are like law around here. That sounds like a threat. Your job is follow my orders, promptly carry them out with missions and your team. First off, I want to make you look around the morgue. Okay, so talk to Karen. Maybe I went out the wrong door. Hey, what do you want, bitch? Yeah. Yes, I am accepting a job request. Board here, you will choose your team. Is that what they call this section of the ship, the morgue? That's really pessimistic. It's your duty as a commander to find who can fucking play cards! Okay. Make sure you report back here whenever you complete a mission. Okay, let's go Yu Gi Oh! this shit. Okay, I think I've officially accepted a mission, now I can officially touch the teleporter with my nads and go play Yu-Gi-Oh. see, okay, I think this is the teleporter that isn't busticated. Alright, here we go. What's, what's this? Oh my fucking god, okay. I thought sh Yeah, we, we, we discussed this, sir. We dis- we discussed this. I do like the look of this game, and it's pretty rad. Yes, I am very satisfied sexually, thank you. I like these fake waterfalls right here to make me uh, remember I'm not in space. Is there a look around button? I don't want to look around the environment, but I guess that's not possible. Oh, that's why I was going to press that button. Uh, maybe I have to talk to all of them now that I've discussed the mission. I'm about to just start hammering and skip. You people can't possibly have that much important stuff. Okay. You're a gunner. That's actually good information. You're the midget. Exotic weapons. I'll be helping you achieve our goal. With these titties. Alright, and the force chick. Yes, let's go out to battle. I don't know, forces were the hardest thing to play in the previous game, so I'll probably choose in the shooter dude. Maybe Tigo Biddies. Oh my god, okay. Now, maybe I go talk to this chick over here and accept the quest manually? Oh god, I'm about to busy your anus with my pee pee. Let's see. This is just ridiculous. Okay, now do I accept something from you? Is it an urgent manner that I badly need to go kill stuff with my Yu-Gi-Oh deck? Let me check the other teleporter, then I'll check back up there and check with the principal. Maybe now that I've spoken with Karen, I can speak to the principal government again. This is bizarre. 
Hey! Wait, oh, okay, it looked like the teleporter was on. It is not. This is an empty room still. This is probably, like, the space bathroom, and it just literally teleports the doo-doo out of your ass. Because that's what we do with future technology. Doo-doo teleportation. I wasn't going to worry about your cards being attacked by other cards, but, you know, guard it for 20 hours a day if you want. Highly confidential. Good, good, let's... <laughs> I like that he's like, mess around with your deck. There's not a really, you know, professional term for that, it's just mess around. Fossil find, yes! Oh man, I'm gonna do the fuck out of this mission. I'm gonna find so many fossils, you're gonna call me Ross from Friends. Huh? Remember? He's actually an archaeologist? Yeah. Not a lot of archaeologist jokes you can make. Wait, explain how this works when I'm supposed to be a commander? Oh man, tutorial time, folks. I'm no good at this teaching stuff. This thing is an entry counter, device that lets you dispatch your team on missions. This battle's meant for card battles, though, so you can't dispatch your team without making a deck for them. Consider to build decks. It's really annoying me whenever they have a character casually supposed to be explaining something to you. It's like, you know, you could just have like a tutorial menu that I could select optionally. I don't know, did you miss anything? That's probably it. Oh man. Sure. Long speeches? Oh, for God's sakes. I'm gonna choose you and hope to God you get shot in the knees. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. Ooh, fancy maps. Fossil find at Rugius Lapis. Given a mission. The fossil of a giant creature was recently discovered in a newly developed area of Raggle. An investigative team was quickly dispatched, and we've received word that they've run into trouble. You must hurry to their aid immediately. Cool. Okay. Uh, Roll settings. Uh, sure. Yes. I have no one to back me up. Okay. I have to. Okay. I'm kind of curious. Let's see what the cards are. Okay, sword, mag. Uh. Oh, cool. Attack. Slash attack dagger. This actually is really interesting looking. Like art style wise, is very cool. It looks like a very legitimate card game. That bitch is screaming. Ah! Cool. Okay. Sweet. Cool. Research team as follows. This is the Lagnet. That's a fantastic name for it. The Igneous Lapis research team, as we're getting underway with our investigation, we were suddenly attacked. Please send help. We do not have any concrete information regarding the nature of the attack, so extreme caution is advised. Alright. Huh. Wow. This is 
really good looking. Oh cool, is this like turn-based strategy? What the hell? Are we rolling for who goes first? Okay, that's alright. I thought I was supposed to use that other white dude anyways. Would you like to change your hand? No, nah, that's a pretty good hand, I guess. Start. <laughs> I love that robot voice. Start. Okay. Oh, whoa. Wait a minute, is this like fucking Pokemon? Do I summon shit too? I summon Blue Eyes White Dragon and Pikachu. Holy fuck, what the fuck am I gonna do? Look at all that shit! Oh, well, freaking great. Oh, okay, my attack is randomized as well. Alright, that's not too bad. Uh, okay. Oh, I can't use magic attacks. Why are those in my deck then? Handgun. What? Wait, okay. So. Okay. Did I summon the gun? How does this. Action. Okay. Attack using gun on that target. All right. Defense. Hey, not too bad. Draw. Can I attack again? Oh, I just was equipping another gun. Maybe I can defend myself in between turns. This is very interesting, but. I I kinda wish I'd done a tutorial or I hadn't been taught how to play the game by that drunk dude. Defense. Oh, cool! You can select a defensive card. Whoa, look at that ass! Holy shit! I wanna dodge more often. Yeah, that's what I thought! Flee? No one's going towards you, Ragpappy. Oh wow, I have extremely limited health. Am I supposed to lose this first fight? Look at the size of that fucking crossbow. Yeah, well that sucked. Wait, I'm in zero health but I'm still alive? Change dice. Cool. Set. Um. See what this does. But uh, card details, it just makes oh this. Equipping this item increases a story character's AP and TP. Okay, I guess I'll equip that. And the sword! Oh, it's business time. Move. Awesome. Action. Oh, fuck your salad up, bitch. Yeah. Oh shit, son! Draw. So I am now surrounded, but I'm right in front of my opponent. They're all turning towards me. Man, I don't have any defensive cards. Oh, fuck. Oh! It's... The attacks are knocking out all my items to actually get to me. This is very interesting. The opponent has three turns. Oh, yeah, it's those things. They attack three times. Don't you break my sword, motherfucker. 
I like this sword. No, no. That's right, time to win the fucking game. I should have equipped that shield. I don't know why I didn't. Action. What is that? Assault. Oh wow, that's complicated as hell. Okay. Uh, let's try that. Uh, yeah, with that sword. Cool. Tigo biddies. Rank B, fuck that. Rank A, my ass. I killed all three of the opponents with one swipe. Select a booster pack. She had to cut through my weapons or her minions did. Bind, that's cool. And the Durandal. No sword, hell yeah, I'm gonna be putting that in my deck. Cool, I love defensive. No defensive, that's good. Oh, sweet. Sweet! A minion! Safe and sound, they've been sent word expressing their heartfelt thanks. Thank you for your efforts and good luck on future assignments, Security Division. Well, that was pretty interesting. I don't know what I was expecting, but this is a really bizarrely intricate battle system. Welcome back.